that new iPhone XS, man, just when you thought the iPhone couldn't get any sexier. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, BMAC. And it is finally that time of year again. That beautiful time of year when our bank accounts hit rock bottom and those new iPhones get announced. And this year we have three beautiful new iPhones to talk about. We have the iPhone XS, the iPhone XS Max, and the iPhone XR. Three amazing phones in their own right. Three amazing phones definitely worth talking about. And I know a lot of you guys subscribe to the channel want to know what the deal is with these new iPhones. You guys want to know. What makes these things so special? So this year, I'm gonna try things a little bit differently. Rather than going into deep, complex detail like I usually do on every single new upgrade and feature of the new iPhones, I'm gonna break down and summarize the most important things you need to know in 90 seconds or less. It's gonna be a challenge, it's gonna be more of a personal challenge than anything else, but I think we could do it. So that's what we're gonna do in this video with the iPhone XS. So buckle up, maybe grab some water, or maybe I should grab some water, considering how fast I'm about to talk. Here's what you need to know about the iPhone XS. The iPhone XS is Apple's new middle line iPhone. It sports a 5.8 inch OLED HDR Super Retina Multi 3D Touch True Tone and Wide Color Display. Say that one 10 times fast. It has that stainless steel band and a glass back. We get two 12 megapixel rear facing cameras. The first, a wide angle lens at an f1.8 aperture. And the second, a telephoto lens at an f2.4 aperture. Both lenses are six element lenses with optical image stabilization. You get portrait mode with advanced bokeh and depth control, as well as natural, studio, contour, stage, and stage mono lighting effects. All of which is protected by a sapphire crystal lens cover. And video modes are available at 4K, and 24, 30, or 60 frames per second at 1080p and 30, 60, 120, or 240 frames per second for that slow motion support and at 720p at 30 frames per second. You also get a seven megapixel front facing camera with an aperture of f2.2. You get face ID and the A12 Bionic chip, dual SIM support and IP68 rating and fast charge capabilities. Speaking of charging, you can expect your battery to last between 12 to 14 hours for internet and video playback use, 20 hours of talk time, and around 60 hours with wireless audio playback. Storage for the iPhone XS is available in gigabyte sizes 64, 256, and 512. And the XS is available in three different colors, gold, silver, and space gray. All of which is listed at a starting price of $999. A pretty solid phone, a pretty solid iPhone for anybody who wants a beast of an iPhone without being locked into that larger display. Personally, I think the iPhone XS is a great solution for those of you who want the beast of a phone without being locked into that 6.5 inch display on the iPhone XS Max because the iPhone XS and the iPhone XS Max are nearly identical in terms of tech specs except for that very obvious difference of the larger display on the iPhone XS Max. But enough about what I think, what do you guys think? Don't forget to leave your thoughts on this new iPhone in the comment section below. As always, I'll be liking, hearting, and replying to all of my favorite comments. And if you guys found this video helpful, please don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and consider subscribing with notifications turned on. That way you never miss a new video. We upload videos like this one to this channel each and every week. I'm gonna go get some coffee ready. Gotta make sure I'm on top of these pre-orders. Cannot miss this year's pre-orders. I will not let it happen. I'll see you guys in my next video. Seriously, no, you guys thought I was playing. I'm starting to drink coffee right now. I will stay up. I will make sure I get my hands on one of these iPhones. I need another cup of coffee.